G'day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to be discussing the Amazon Prime documentary Making Their Mark. Unbelievable, unbelievable stuff. I am a nuffy for behind the scenes content. So I binge watched Making Their Mark last weekend. There's seven apps, they go for about an hour each, which is just, you know, music to my ears as a football lover. And the thing that I loved about it was the Hollywood style of editing, if that makes sense. It was very, very pacey. And as someone who watches a lot of TikTok and can get quite bored of things that aren't just stimulating me all the time, I think that they've nailed the editing job on the doco series. And what a year to do it. 2020 was an absolute disaster and it is like no hold barred, full on access into what transpired behind the scenes last year. When you see some of the behind the scenes meetings that the Richmond Footy Club board had to go through and some of the stress that they had of whether we'd even get the season back, I started to really appreciate that we had a season at all last year. Rory Sloan was one of my favorites in the making of the Mark doco. He is just such a great bloke. Fortunately, myself and Cooko got to meet him in 2019. We actually went to his house and filmed footy at home and he comes across exactly what he's like on camera. And even though this was quite behind the scenes, I think you can see how natural and cool and funny and such a legend that Sloan is. One of my favorite scenes is there's like a big meeting uh, between the Crows midfield or the Crows leaders and Matty Nix is ramming home the point that you should and must defend and they sort of zero in on Brad Crouch and they say well listen Crouchy you've been letting us down at a few stoppages what's the go there and he sort of nonchalantly goes oh look mate yeah I was a bit slow to get back and I like the way Sloney sort of pulls him into line it's quite assertive but it's not it doesn't come across as too negative. And it was at that point where I'm like, geez, I would run through a brick wall for Sloaney. He just seems like such a legend and such a good skipper. I felt bad for Stephen Cornelio throughout the doco. It seems like they followed him around in one of the all time difficult years of his life. Just a low on confidence captain. He, he could walk on water in 2019. When they made the grand final, he was injured for a little bit, but when he was playing in 2019, he was just a star. And I was a bit shattered for him. He just couldn't quite get into games. And the doco follows him around through quite a difficult patch in form. And it actually follows him into the meeting with Leon Cameron where he gets dropped. And he's obviously gutted. The weight of the world's on his shoulders. He's a new captain. He just gets dropped. He goes as a chat to Heath Shaw. And it's amazing to see what a good teammate Heath Shaw is. He goes into Leon Cameron's office and says, I know he's been dropped this weekend, but I want to play with him. I want to play with my skipper. I want to see him run out. I want to back him in. So it's pretty cool to see the sort of teammate uh, Heath Shaw is and how he just backs in his boys no matter what. Some of the sprays that Dimmer give the Tigers are so funny. It's real, uh, yeah, real country, real local footy stuff. But it's amazing at halftime in the grand final, the calmness that Damien Hardwick had. He goes into the rooms, pulls them in together and says, look, we're down by about 20 points, but we've been here before. We've been here in many games before and we know our system is stronger for longer, essentially. And it's funny, after the game, obviously they win the grand final. He's sort of walking around, talking to the players, talking to Justin Leppage and whatnot. And he was saying, geez, I thought we were cooked at halftime. I genuinely thought we were done for. But he did not show any of that at his halftime address, obviously, because he's a great coach. But the way he just calmed the group, backed them in, reinstated some of their philosophies and some of their some of their mantras. I thought it was brilliant. And I'm sure the Tigers probably get over the line anyway, inspiring grand final speech or not, but I felt like that had a huge impact on the group. As I said before, I'm a massive nuffy for AFL docos. I loved when Collingwood and Essendon had their own respective TV shows six or seven years ago. I loved in 2008 when the essence of the game came out. Uh, I thought, you know, anything behind the scenes like that is just unbelievable. So if you are a footy nut who wants all access behind the scenes content, uh, yeah, making their mark is absolutely for you. It is phenomenal. It is amazing. And I just hope and pray that they get a season two because I just want more. Anyway, guys, that's it for another video. Comment down below some of your favorite moments from making their mark, what you thought was good about it, what you thought was bad about it i'd love to chat to you in the comments below about the doco and yeah i appreciate all the support guys i appreciate everyone watching and i'll see you all very very soon cheers